Welcome to Naked Real Estate, the barrier-free experience. Today's topic is three great questions to ask a real estate agent during the interview before you list the house with him. Number one, and my favorite question that I think every client should ask is, and this is where the money, those huge commissions that you pay real estate agents, this is where they actually earn it. So the number one question, in my opinion, to ask them is, when my house has been on the market and you want to lower the price of my home, what is happening in the market or not happening in the market that tells you that we have to lower the price? Because way too often what I always hear is, if we don't get an offer in two weeks, we gotta lower the price. It's like an automatic thing. Drop your pants in two weeks if we don't get an offer. That's how, how you probably feel about things. Right, and when you look at the market, you know reasons to drop an off to drop the price. Often, is that the issue? Most of the time, it is. But what I find is, the market is 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 made up of three things. It's made up of buyers, made up of sellers, and it's also made up of you know buyers and sellers working together right are their houses selling so for example when not to lower the when not to lower your price when nobody else is getting showings on their properties you're lowering your price but there's no buyers so you know it's, it's kind of like you know glasses you know in the land of the blind there's no use to doing that sellers for example are the other listings in the area dropping their prices? Is that why we have to drop the price? Right? And then the third thing is the interaction between buyers and sellers. Right? So that's kind of like the emotional state of the real estate market. Um, this is actually absolutely critical in terms of boom or boom or bust markets. Because in boom markets, the, the mania, once it starts coming, it goes up real quick, right? It's just one of those things when the market's hot, everyone gets excited. You know, it's one of those things, positive things happen quick. Everybody's on top of that, you know. Um, with negative um, down markets, what I found is people are in denial. And, the, and the, the key thing is this, is they'll be in denial for a little while, but once the fear sets in, Everyone jumps on that bandwagon even quicker than a rising market. So an experienced real estate agent understands he doesn't want to put his clients in that position. But it's it's a real estate agent with the experience and also who's actually in business, doing enough business to feel the pulse of the market. Where, you know, for me, I have to advise my clients, if I feel the market's going to drop, I want to get them out of that market uh, before the market starts to drop because... You know, you, if you want to see a really bad situation, a really bad situation is chasing a falling market. That's a really bad situation because prices are dropping. And if you're chasing that market down and there's tons of listings in your area, hopefully you're not the last fool standing. Because by the time that the price gets that low, you probably can't even afford to sell it. So, yeah, those are my three things that I think you should um, ask uh, your the real estate agent about before he drops the price. Um, second thing that I think you should ask the real estate agent is tell me about your experiences dealing with, you know, up and down markets. What have you done? And, and what problems have you encountered and how have you solved it? His response will tell you how much experience that he has or doesn't have, right? If he says very general stuff like, 
Well, if the market's rising, yeah, we'll just price it higher as the last sold because that's a leading indicator. Just very common, common knowledge stuff that you don't actually need to really think. It's a very general common sense kind of statement, right? Or 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 if it's a falling market, oh, we'll price it accordingly, and you know whatever sells, that's pretty much what the market value is. That's what we'll do. It's a very general common statement. It's kind of it's kind of like, oh. If I put my foot in water, it will get wet. And if it gets wet, I will wipe it. Common sense, correct? That's probably the one realtor you don't want to hire. Right? If he says something that's so common sense like that, he's probably newer or doesn't know what he's talking about. It's time to, you know, to get rid of him. He, he's not the right agent for you. Third thing, I think, asking the realtor. And it definitely doesn't have to do with commission. Because as you know, a good real estate agent or a bad real estate agent, they both cost the same. At the end of the day, they both cost the same. But they're, 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 your experience and your end result are going to be dramatically different. So the third thing that I think everyone should ask the real estate agent in the interview is... Help me understand how real estate sells. Like how does real estate actually sell? Common sense says, well, buyer comes through the door and makes it, you know, looks at the property. If he likes it, we make an offer, we negotiate, and it's done. And correct, that's how real estate sells. But the question you want to ask, you want the answers you want to hear from him is is his understanding on the marketing and and the system that brings buyers and sellers together. If he doesn't explain to you how, you know, from step one you put the house on the market, step two it goes out to all these automatic searches, uh, step three. All these realtors are also looking at it and explaining how, you know, what drives the real estate market and the MLS system. And just the whole dynamics about how do buyers and sellers get together. If he doesn't go into detail about his understanding around that, that's a great indicator. He's unqualified to sell your home. And I wouldn't hire him. Uh, you know, I always say, you know, realtors get paid a lot of money. They got to earn it. And there's nothing worse than having a real estate agent that doesn't know what he's doing. So those are my three questions. I think every seller should ask their realtor so that they, they can ensure that they're getting a quality realtor. And everyone has their own different understandings. But as long as he has some sort of deeper understanding than common sense. Thank you.